How do you choose a strategy for explaining addition and subtraction? In this lesson, you will learn how to explain addition or subtraction by choosing appropriate strategies. Remember that there are many reasons we explain in math. Sometimes you need to prove to other students and teachers that you are correct. Other times you are comparing your strategy with others to see how they solve the problem and maybe learn a different way to think about it. Finally, you might explain how to solve the problem to someone who doesn't understand. There are many ways to explain your solution to an addition or subtraction problem. You might use place value, breaking the numbers apart into tens and ones. You can also break the numbers apart in a different way. To subtract 32 minus 14, you can break the 14 up into 2, 10, and 2 and subtract each part. The relationship between addition and subtraction, or fact families, can also help explain your work. For example, to prove that 95 minus 61 equals 34, you can prove that 61 plus 34 equals 95. A final strategy is to use the commutative and associative properties of addition. The commutative property says that we can add numbers in any order. So we could change 30 plus 7 plus 10 plus 6 to 10 plus 30 plus 7 plus 6. The associative property says that we can group numbers when we add. So we could group the 10 plus 30 is 40 and 7 plus 6 is 13. These strategies all make it easier to explain your work. But the big question is, how do you know which strategy to choose when you're explaining? Let's think about a couple of problems to help us answer that question. The cafeteria has 48 tables. Students put flowers on 17 of the tables. How many tables still need flowers? The monkey solved this problem, and his answer is 31. Now he needs to choose a strategy to explain. When you're choosing a strategy, think about the numbers in the problem. Pick an easy but clear way to explain your thinking. For this problem, the monkey was able to simply subtract ones from ones and tens from tens. So place value is an easy way for him to explain his thinking. He can use some numbers, words, and a picture. Four tens minus one ten is three tens. There's the words and picture. Eight ones minus seven ones is one ones. Some words and numbers and a picture. All this proves that 31 tables still need flowers. Let's look at one other example. For snack time, the second graders need 39 popcorn boxes. The first graders need 43 popcorn boxes. How many boxes should the cook make? The monkey has an answer of 82 for this problem. But which strategy should he choose to explain it? Again, he needs to think about the numbers in the problem and pick an easy and clear way to explain. The number 39 is close to 40 and it's easy to add to tens. So the monkey is going to break apart the number 43. He uses a number line to show how he adds the parts of 43. 39 plus 1, plus 40, and plus 2 more. He proves that the cooks need to make 82 boxes of popcorn. In this lesson, you learned how to explain addition or subtraction problems by choosing appropriate strategies.